The start of hurricane season here in Florida already shaping up to be really costly for insurance. It all has to do with those flooding rains we saw earlier this month. WPTV's Matt Sesney, he's here in studio tonight to explain how it may affect our coverage collapse. Matt? You know, Shannon, that storm earlier this month didn't even have a name, but it did dump a ton of water on South Florida. And now the estimates is that insurance claims will go into the hundreds of millions. Global reinsurance firm Aon is making that prediction based on the number of homes, cars, and other property damaged from the flooding that took place starting on June 11th. That rain soaked the area with rainfall amounts of 12 inches in Broward, 9 inches in Dade, and around 7 inches in Palm Beach County. Florida's Office of Insurance Regulation is requiring insurance companies to file reports on claims from that storm starting next week. Now, most of the flood claims will likely be covered by the federal flood program, but this storm we had can certainly make insurers feel uneasy. This year is predicted to be a very active year for tropical storms and hurricanes, and industry experts say if that happens, big losses for insurance companies could turn into bigger rates next year for all of us. And Shannon, starting out with the season with a costly storm like this one isn't exactly a good start. Starting to see it already. Matt Sesney, we appreciate your continued coverage. Thank you.